In this video, we're going to talk about how I was able to do 2.3 million in sales the last 12 months on online arbitrage with Amazon FBA. So if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. My name is Miles, just turned 24 two weeks ago. So I'm a 24-year-old full-time Amazon online arbitrage seller. Like I said, 2.3 million in sales the last 12 months. So I'm going to do a full breakdown on how that progressed month over month, my big takeaways, my big lessons, different stuff I was doing than other people, and how I'm actually planning to really crush key four and hopefully do another million in sales this year. So maybe Make sure to subscribe, I post three videos a week and let's get in the video. So I'm gonna talk through the timeline and evolution of how I did these sales, kind of the ups, downs, what I was going through, just to document. I think it's interesting sharing some context on like the different basically stuff I was going through at the time, stuff I was figuring out basically on uh, on that. And so starting off right here and then we'll actually show you, you know, the sourcing method I do and stuff like that. But starting off basically a year ago was September, 2021, right? I was coming off my first 15, 14, 15 K profit month in August for back to school. When I really like blew it up, started to figure it out, started to focus on replenishable inventory, started to jack up the purchasing quantities, stuff like that and everything. And then September, uh, I got a couple big inauthentic complaints and, um, started, uh, sales really started to slow down. I started to realize that I probably wasn't going to be able to sustain just doing FBM the whole time, basically. So that's when I started doing FBA. The problem was restock limits at the time. Um, and everything because I was pretty new to FBA and stuff, my restock limits were like a thousand. I was trying to send out like 500 units a day sometimes in a, like a couple of times a week in some cases and such. So that's why I sustained pretty low throughout October as well, just around like 100K in sales for October. And the key is that November, the volume started to pick up on stuff, especially the FBM stuff I was doing at the time too, because the holidays were kicking in. So demand was increasing on stuff. So I was doing a lot of FBM and FBA every Monday morning. I was focusing on, re I was up early checking my restock limits basically um, on uh, on that. So to this point, I'd started in February, 2021, figured it out in August, 2021, first 10 K profit month or over 10 K profit month on uh, 14, 15 K July was like 10 K profit of last year on that. But got into it, started figuring it out, right? And then I get hit with a couple inauthentic complaints, some shipping issues and restock limits all at the same time. So I'm like, dude, like, can I grow beyond this? And everything, and then November hits and the volume goes crazy, basically. November, I did like 220, December 300. The big thing with December was that, and I'm, you'll hear me talking about a lot, a lot about this next few months on stuff, is that a lot of Amazon sellers, their year basically ends November 30th and November 25th on stuff like they, the FBA cut off to get products listed by Christmas hits in November. And then they basically just like kind of check out for the year based on that. But the difference is that I, that's when my year like starts. There's two parts key for there's the preparation, there's the sending in the items for Christmas. And then the second part, which is what most people don't do is the merchant fulfilling of stuff because you can buy stuff so cheap for black Friday and Christmas sales and then sell them at those inflated Christmas values. But the key is that you can only do that via FBM because you don't have time to FBA it. In terms of that stuff getting checked in. And that's why my sales were so down in January. And as a whole, the industry is down typically January and February on stuff because the demand wanes off with the holidays and everyone's selling the inventory they bought so cheap, Black Friday, Christmas sales, stuff like that. So that's why stuff tends to go out, go in value. And that's why my sales really suffer. But November and December were fantastic. And that a lot of merch filled in those months. This year, I'll be a lot more FBA because I have more slots in my restock limits as well. But heavily focused on uh merch filled especially for december because you can't fba stuff so if you want to make additional money or not to, not that you can't you just probably stuff probably won't check in it's not priority for them on stuff you really want to be getting that merch filled infrastructure i made a good video about it like it was either last week or the week before I'm not talking about how to get free shipping supplies ups pickups all that stuff basically on that so january and february we see i was a little bit down right around 100k in sales each of those months on stuff and then i started like really i started making youtube videos at the time we launched our course so i was like way deeper into the community than i was prior on stuff so my sales start picking up in march and april leverage a prep center starting in march which has been really really helping you can see literally the floor picks up a lot on those sales like march and april were really good june was a little down i got a little lazy on that and then july was very good and august was very good as well on uh, on that but march april a couple big sales i took advantage of and everything June, there was a big sale as well. So I had a lot of good inventory to the prep center in June. So July sales were very good. And then August combined being, you know, diligent, sending units to the prep center, stuff like that, doing my normal on arbitrage stuff with back to school, which if you remember correctly, was when I initial, 
I initially blew up last year in 2021. So I love basically combining the OA replan model that's sustainable. You can do it every month with those little seasonal opportunities, the back to school, the Christmas, different stuff like that. And it honestly fits nicely in terms of my, my niche being shoes and clothing because those are very giftable. People wear more clothing in the winter than in the summer. So naturally demand picks up on it, especially right now I'm buying a lot of hoodies, sweatpants, stuff like that. And, uh, and everything as well as back to school, shoes, clothing pop off, backpacks pop off as well. All that stuff is interesting. I just like showed a lot of my coaching students that stuff in like June and like some of them took big advantage of it, which was amazing. Some people didn't really believe it. Keep a dozen lie on, uh, on stuff and everything, which is really, really good to see a lot of people take off that myself take off that and, um, and everything on that. But yeah, basically July and August were really good. And this month's actually going to be a little down. I'll probably end up right around 200K in revenue, but I can't complain. Multi five figures profit um, on uh, on that. But really getting into Q4, the key is just to get as much good inventory in as possible, as much good inventory in, in October and November, and then really max out, like do everything, kind of get as much good inventory as possible. But then Black Friday rolls around. You can buy stuff so cheap during Black Friday, you can sell it at those inflated Q4 values in December, merchant fulfilled, or you can wait till January to send it in and sell it at deflated values and deflated volume with more competition on stuff because no one can stock forecast correctly. I, I'm seriously like, trust me on this. There's so much good opportunity in merchant fulfilled in December. It's gonna change some of you guys' lives that are watching this on us stuff. I fully believe that it completely did for me. You guys can see in my sales, literally, look at that. It's like a 300% increase just three months over three months, like October and September of last year compared to November and December of last year on oh, stuff. And this year, I think I can do another million in sales between now and the end of the year on stuff. It's going to be a lot of buying. It's going to be a lot of hard work. But it's going to be worth it on, uh, on that. So you guys can see like it ebbs and flows as you figure out new things, as you find new edges, as you meet more sellers, stuff like that. Like I was on a call with a couple of my buddies a few nights ago and learned something insane that I'll like never share. And stuff, but is incredibly helpful and it's going to contribute to the big. You're going to see these sales are going to be up around here. There's going to be some probably 40, 50K days in the next, uh, especially in December on stuff, inventory pending on uh, on that. But I really keep it simple, man. It just keep a uh, seller ramp, reverse sourcing, do a lot of sourcing with friends, sourcing with students on stuff. So I get a lot of reps in, but like it's really comes down to just putting lots of reps and taking the time to get good on stuff because very, very few people will do that. But you guys can see like, it grows quick with the right information. And see right here, way up, had some like close to 20K days. One of these is Prime Day. And in, uh, in there, there was really a big couple big August days and stuff. We have a lot more this uh, this November, December big days like that on, uh, on stuff. In terms of my sourcing method, so I keep it really simple. Just keep uh, seller amp on, uh, on stuff. Really digging deep into variations over here, right? The key is that Amazon's on this, right? But we go to variations right here. Once this loads right here in Keepa, if we can go here, take out Amazon equals no price right there. That takes all those out and then go here. And now, right, we can take a look at this. I actually bet we'll be able to find this profitably on uh, on that. Yeah, pretty low competition, a little, little risky because Amazon's been on a lot of late, but this could be a merch build play on, uh, on stuff. I bet this is good right here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it's an example of a profitable. I don't have to make a reel about this. I probably wouldn't buy it because a lot of people are a lot of people are going to see this on uh, on stuff, but yeah, three color. Here's that the right thing. It sure looks like it. Yeah. Okay. 25 right here. 25, 47, 46 right there. Can't complain. It's not bad. Also could uh, coupon it to even lower on uh, on that right there, but we can see perfect example of a profitable item right there on everything. And the key is that every profitable item is a new rabbit hole to then go off of. So right here, within seller amp scroll down reverse search and now all these catalogs pop open with reverse sourcing it's taking a look okay what are successful sellers selling okay what else can i go find profitable from their catalogs and stuff because there's no secrets on stuff right we can see using seller amp we can see the bsr the keepa all this kind of stuff i'm mainly focused on the bsr here and then go out and look for those other items properly so i keep it really simple like most people work far most people are underpaid with the stuff and work too far way too hard to do it because they don't focus on the high leverage activities of putting in a ton of time sourcing. They're getting to know other sellers. They're getting themselves in the information flow. And what's crazy is it's completely free to do all that on oh, stuff. So I'd highly recommend getting in the Amazon community, starting to talk and network with other sellers because it's so important. Literally made a whole course module on it because it was so important. I want the best of you start talking to other Amazon sellers, just put in reps. Like the, the difference between me and you is I've just probably put in so many more reps than you. I've spent so much more time on it. And that's what I've been 
been able to have success to the tune of a couple million bucks in sales last 12 months on that. So make sure to subscribe. I appreciate it. Let's make a ton of money this Q4. So excited for it. Gonna document the whole thing on this channel. Let's get after it. Hope this helps.